Okay, this video will be a diagram of postural drainage positions for the lung. This is a lateral view of sort of a generic lung. On the left side, it will be the anterior aspect of the lung, and on the right side will be the posterior aspect. So this represents both the right and the left lung, and we'll divide it into upper, middle, and lower lobes. So the upper lobe will divide into an apical segment, so there's a right and left apical, and then we'll divide it into anterior and posterior upper lobes, right and left. The middle lobe is just on the right, the left there's a lingula, which is actually part of the upper lobe, but we'll consider it the same because it has the same drainage position. And the basal segments will divide into the upper segment, the anterior segment, the lateral segment, and the posterior basal segments. The apical segment, you position the patient in 30 to 40 degrees of recline, and it's like kind of a sitting position. And then the upper anterior is just supine, the middle and Lingula are a quarter from supine, and the lower is supine. The posterior upper lobe is a quarter from prone, and the superior lower lobe is prone, and the posterior basal segment is prone. So that's what those little symbols mean. R is for recline, B is for the sideline for that lateral lobe. And then there is an exception for that upper posterior left, you actually have the head of the bed elevated 45 degrees for the, for the upper posterior lobe. And then the lingula and the middle lobe, the feet are elevated 12 inches. Um, everything in the green there, the bed is just horizontal, so the bed is not elevated at all except for that, of course, that upper left posterior lobe. And then for all the basal segments, except for that superior segment, the foot of the bed is elevated 18 inches. So just to kind of summarize here, um, so basically some guidelines, if you're going to do anything that's quarter prone or quarter supine or the sideline, you're going to have them lying on the opposite side that you're trying to percuss. So if you're doing the left lung, you're going to have them laying on the right side. Um, and then you might also notice that everything that's on the anterior side of the lung, you're going to have them basically in a supine position. Everything posterior, you're going to have them in a prone position. So that's just a kind of a general hint. And that's it. Good luck.